I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. This week we've got some truly eye-catching properties, including this live-work loft in Soho. We're also inside the home of this television hit maker. Oh, and I explore this luxurious West Village apartment filled with colorful surprises. And we're making matcha and checking out the home of Shayna Taylor. But first, the popular trainer and choreographer known as Isaac Boots gets physical in his beautifully designed downtown apartment. Instead of just giving you a tour, why don't we get a little work out of it, right? Right? Yes. Welcome to Open House NYC, everyone. Today I'm coming to you from this duplex penthouse at the legendary Campanile in Midtown East. You pass through these restored bank vault doors into a gracious gallery with a sculptural bronze and marble staircase and wet bar. Take your drink into this great room with an Art Deco inspired fireplace and huge windows that frame southern and eastern views. Three French doors lead out to a grand terrace that makes you feel like you're floating above the river. The home also features a north terrace off the gorgeous principal suite, and upstairs past the open chef's kitchen and dining room, there's a rooftop terrace with 360 degree views of the city. This is definitely a home filled with drama and style at every turn, just the way we like it. Let's kick off today's show in the Lower East Side neighborhood of Two Bridges. We're with choreographer, celebrity trainer, and fitness influencer Isaac Calpito, aka Isaac Boots. Isaac's beloved torched workouts on Instagram Live have quickly become the place to be when you want to break a sweat at home. And during the workouts, followers often catch a glimpse of his chic abode in the background, underlining his fit and fab lifestyle. And now he's giving us a closer look. Hey guys, Isaac Boots here, and Davis Boots, my little baby, and welcome to my home. Shall I show you around? Let's go. But instead of just giving you a tour, why don't we get a little work out of it, right? Right? Yes. So this is a classic band workout that tightens your arms, tones, and really you can do it anywhere. Like my living room. So this is my main space in my two bedroom, two bath here on the Lower East Side. And it's kind of amazing because I've lived in many places around New York and this is the best view I've ever had. So in designing the space, I really wanted to complement the incredible cityscape to create a jewel box in the sky. And that really started with color and art that I love. Let's go see it. I wanted to turn this apartment into my showplace, so it is specifically curated. There are no accidents. And that all started with this sofa. The color reminds me of the ocean water in Hawaii, where I'm from, so I always feel like I have a piece of home with me. Even these fabulous pillows here on the sofa are all gifts from my friends and clients. And seeing as I'm a multitasker, even when I'm sitting on the couch, I like to get a workout in. I would say my overall design aesthetic is colorful, is cheeky, slightly ironic, and representative of all my life experiences. Even this Polaroid, I take a snapshot of anyone that comes into the apartment and save it on this tray from my friend. And what is a living room without some share coasters, right? Ultimately, I love to entertain, and this place has a party vibe, and great design is required. And this is where we eat, or as I like to call it, drink champagne and stretch in front of my two dance icons, Josephine Baker and Madonna. These chairs I love. I was obsessed with the color of them. They reminded me of Versailles and a sort of Marie Antoinette vibe. And this bar, I wanted it to be representative of my friends and some humor. And Kelly Ripa actually gave me this really amazing teacup that says, Mommy Dearest, our favorite film. And even this fabulous poodle, which I got from a local artist in the Hamptons, which I love because it reminds me of my baby Davis. And these fabulous cookie jars of Davis and Marie Antoinette. But I like to say, off with her head. Okay. And grab a cookie, of course, gluten-free. And I'm sure you're wondering what's in my fridge. Well, voila. 
We like to keep it very sensible, very curated. I keep my skincare in there, and more often than not, I like to have a midday rose water spritz. So this is my second bedroom that I really use as a meditative space, a place to do live streams, and it's also a great place to do my workout on Zoom or whatever. I can just place my laptop down, do my little plank series. Davis loves to, to join in as well. We do a little push-up, right Davis? Yeah. And this is my bedroom. And so I really wanted to create a space that I felt safe in, that still had a flow of humor in it as well. And as we know, New York apartments, we like to economize space. So I have my bags as art on the wall. And I have this great vintage mirror that I got in the Hamptons. I just loved it as soon as I saw it. And oh, and there's Davis and his carrot, which he's obsessed with. I've lived here for over 22 years and I can basically see every apartment I've ever lived in. And this is my favorite one. Now I'm not gonna show you what kind of exercise I do in this room, but let me show you how I end my day. What a better way to end your workout and your day with a sensible bath and a splash. So thanks for joining me today. Cheers. Well, that definitely looks like the ideal way to end the day. Now, Isaac is back to training in person, but he still offers online workouts with donations going to the worthy charity, No Kid Hungry. Coming up just after the break, we're with wellness influencer and entrepreneur Shayna Taylor at her chic Los Angeles abode. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now we are in the Del Rey section of Los Angeles with chef, entrepreneur, and wellness influencer, Shayna Taylor. Shayna is well known for inspiring a healthy lifestyle and she shows that it all begins at home. Not just with what you eat, but the things you choose to surround yourself with. Take a look. Hi, I'm Shayna Taylor, owner of Shayna's Kitchen in Bottle and Stone. We are here at my house, starting in a little desert vibe. I love earth elements, and so I'm going to welcome you in my home to show you what that looks like. Come on. This dining room table is one of my favorites. I got to pick the piece of wood, which I feel makes it really special. And of course, doing some custom velvet chairs to match the wood itself. Next, we're gonna go into my open floor plan of a living room. I love the living room mostly because this is where I host a lot of my friends and family and I wanted it to be as comfortable as possible. So I have lots of earth elements in here. I have a bamboo wallpaper. I have lots of crystals, some granite coffee table and of course my beautiful fireplace which is a quartzite from Italy. Continuing on the open floor plan. I have my beautiful kitchen where I spend most of my time. If you guys don't know, I am a chef. And so this is where I do a lot of my recipe development. One of my favorite things and what I do every morning is make a matcha latte. So the first step is you wanna take your homemade almond milk, which I make myself. We're going to put about a half a teaspoon into this little bowl. So now that the milk is nice and frothed and hot, we are going to add it into the cup. Now that I got my matcha latte, I'm gonna show you the backyard. So the backyard I wanted to create as a very hangout spot. And I wanna highlight first my little dining area over here. I have a fire pit for when it's cold in winter, but of course I live in California, so almost all year round this can be used outside. Next I wanna show you another little hangout spot. This is more obviously couch hang. I have my beautiful garden behind there. I like to grow a lot of my own vegetables. And then this is a new add to my house. This is my outdoor kitchen. So this is a space I love to just create outside, host people. We're just a bit spoiled to have outdoor spaces like this. 
My favorite room of the house is my bedroom. The biggest reason being is I love to create a sanctuary where I feel like I can actually rest and sleep. So everything here is very calm and soothing, including of course the picture that I decided to put above my bed. It's just a print of the ocean. Everything is soothing about that. All the natural colors, the wallpaper kind of ties it all in together and makes it like a cozy little nook. And I have a braided wool rug and of course my favorite piece, which is this beautiful teak wood console. It took me quite some time to find one that would actually fit perfectly in the space, but I really feel that it just brings in again those earth elements that just really make a home a home. Thank you so much for coming to tour my beautiful home. I hope that I have inspired you as much as I can, maybe to add in a little more earth elements, but thank you again and I'll see you in the kitchen. Coming up just after the break, I take a special tour of this stylish apartment in the West Village with gorgeous Hudson River views. We'll see you in just a bit. Welcome back everyone. Now I recently had the chance to tour this stunner in the West Village. It's filled with color and pattern at every turn. And the river views, yeah, they're not so bad either. Join me and agent Ben Glazer for a closer look. It's like a feast for the eyes. There's so much to see. There's a lot and I love the mirrors that really shine like a diamond when you come in. They really do. I mean, you can't walk into this apartment and not talk about these views. These views are incredible. These views definitely do not get old. Oh my God, tell me about the building. The building was designed by Robert A.M. Stern. This is the West Village's premier five-star luxury building. All the amenities you could possibly want. My client bought two apartments in the building, seamlessly combined them to create this magical riverfront, five bedroom, four and a half bath masterpiece. I love everything in here. I mean, clearly there was a designer. You have a very good eye. This is Miles Red, world-renowned designer. You know, we're seeing a lot of minimalism in apartments these days. That would not be the case here in this apartment. This is really Miles Red. He wanted to create a home in New York City that really felt like a home. This is 1930s Hollywood living today. And this is where the homes were combined. This is where the front door was to the western facing apartment. That makes sense. And right in front of you was the entrance to the eastern. And this is now the front door which brings you into this space which they yeah. purchased from the condominium. That begs the question, how much was this little space to purchase? I would say it's comparable to an Aston Martin. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd take the car. Wow, I did not expect it to be so bright on this side of the apartment. What's nice about it is you're completely open to the east over the townhouses of the building. Yeah. You get incredible southern light through these floor to ceiling windows, which you really get through the entire home. Yeah. But my favorite feature is the kids art studio. God, I mean, every home needs an art room like this. It's so fantastic. I mean, having a windowed art studio in New York City for kids, does it get better than that? No. My kids would go nuts for this room. I would go nuts for this room. Do you like the emerald green lacquered walls? I love the color, and I would see this color and think, okay, one statement wall, right? But now that you see it in a covering a whole room, like, I love the statement that that makes. Would you like to do an art project? Always. Let's do it. I feel like a kid again. There is something about this room that just inspires me. I get it. Now that we're done with our art projects, let's go check out the rest of the home. I don't think I'm winning any awards for this one. <laughs> I think you're talented. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this. First of all, the view is amazing. I love that this home is eclectic, but it's cohesive, right? And I love the feeling. It feels very serene in here. It has this kind of chinoiserie vibe with the bamboo trim and this wallpaper and this uh, screen that kind of sets the mood, sets the tone for this bedroom. This is the way you want to wake up in the morning. And this is how you want to go to sleep at night. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd like it. Thank you so much for the tour today. I loved it. 
It was truly my pleasure. I enjoyed having you. I could see myself living here. Yes, so could I. But I, it's an occupational hazard. I feel that way every week. <laughs>
so I decided to design everything myself. And everything I've designed, I wanted it to be a piece of art. Many of my designs are made out of exotic materials with brass sculpted hardware. For example, this chair is made out of python. And the way we treat the wood is we burn it instead of painting it. We call this chair the cobra chair. I love collecting art. And this piece here is a hammock done by Louis Vuitton. And I use it to separate my living area from the dining room. The dining room is very dramatic. So I knew I really needed a dramatic chandelier. So I found these amazing cathedral organs and I commissioned an artist to turn them into this incredible chandelier. And that inspired the religious symbols that I put into these chairs. And the dining room table has a glass base so it feels like it's floating. So I've created these chairs with sculpted wings so the guests feel like they're floating too. I've designed the master so I have everything I need in it. It's almost like its own apartment. It has a sitting room, a bedroom, an office, a small gym, and an amazing bathroom. And surprise, my bathroom is all gold. Thank you for coming over. I hope you enjoyed the place and my creations. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?